It really is quite old fashioned to have to dig down into the earth to extract the minerals and the metals that we need to live our modern lives. I'm thinking especially uh, here of some of the rare earth minerals and metals that we need for our batteries like nickel and cadmium and lithium. But is there another way? I say old fashioned. What else could we do? Well, welcome to Throw Forward Thursday. My name's Graham Codrington and we jump into the future every week to see what's going on there and sometimes discover the future is not that far away. Because today I want to talk about phyto mining. Ways in which we can extract not just minerals but also metals from plants. Phyto mining, it's a made up word, phyto meaning plants and mining meaning mining. And what it is, is the ability of some plants to not just extract minerals and nutrients in order for them to grow, but we've discovered that there are in fact a few plants that extract metal elements as well from the earth as they grow. And uh, in some trees, this allows us to extract uh, metal from the sap of the tree. In other plants, it requires us to dehydrate those plants and then uh, crush them and uh, have an extractive process uh, to get metals out of them. Yes, phyto mining. It's experimental at this stage. And the biggest issue is not understanding the biology. I I think that makes sense. The biggest issue is working out how we might be able to do it at scale from soils that are metal rich using the types of plants that would be able to extract that uh, as they grow. Uh, but scale actually is not something that uh, mines and uh, miners have worried about. We've built huge mines to get at these metals before, especially those that power the batteries that power the world we live in. I'm going to put a few links uh, in the notes of this episode uh, uh, or in the bio so that you can just have a look at some of the research that's being done at the moment, a few of the experiments that are already underway. I wonder what else we might have to rethink and unlearn about how we do things in our world as we go into a future where we are attempting to protect the planet and protect our lifestyles at the same time. Thanks as always for joining me in the Throw Forward Thursday studio. I'll see you again next week in the future.